behind us is the fall. Right, look at it, a tremendous horseshoe. It's all on, hmm, more, more than that. Actually, you can see there's an alcove, a horseshoe coming like this, which is a ridge separating this alcove from the next alcove over. And then beyond that, there's another alcove. And then way in the distance, around the corner, is yet another alcove. So, how, how, would, you, how would you see the water coming over this? Well, at the peak of the flood, okay, you got about from the top of the highest cliff edge to the base is about 400 feet. Yeah. The water itself was four to 500 feet deep yeah. as it came across. So at the peak of the flood, it wasn't even a waterfall, it was a boat right. in the water. Um, this in a way is the, so this is the northern end of Lower Brown. This is the northern end of Lower Brown. This is kind of what separates Lower from Upper Brown. This, this whole cliff would have just eaten its way to the eaten north. Eaten way further back, yeah. Yes. yeah. So this yeah. marks the end of the... Yes, this marks the end of way the... the end. It's, it's eaten its way all the way back to here. Yeah. And, and, and you see how... But at other, at, at, during the course of it, that this would have been... There would have been stuff like this further down. Further down. Eaten away back, yes. back, back. Yes, you got it exactly. Here. Right. Yeah. Well, you can look at the vehicles down there. Yeah. Compared to the rubble over here, those are the size of, you know, houses. Mm. Just drop. Yeah, yeah. Very impressive. And you can see the boats down there. Yeah. And so, roughly, these cliffs are about three times the height of Niagara. Are they? Niagara Horseshoe Falls would fit nicely right into that, right there. This rock out in front of us is called Umatilla Rock. Right. Had the flood continued for any length of time beyond what it did, yeah. that rock would have been washed away. Right. They call those rock lakes. Yes. And there's a bunch of them. But that's a very prominent one. There's the Matilla. And you can see that the, that the flood was eating its way through right there. And pretty soon, would have probably created one alcove where there's two now. Yeah. Yeah. And the far side of the complex is almost five miles. Thing. It's a giant thing, yes. I've never seen anything like this in my life before. Very difficult to explain either Grand Coulee or Moses Coulee as a result of outburst flooding from Lake Missoula. And when you read through the literature, it becomes apparent that, that the exact Processor mechanism is is dealt with in a very vague fashion. Right. Like they're just taking it for granted in a way. Yeah. Not really thinking it through. Yeah. See, all of this stuff was being plucked off the, the, the walls. Yeah. And it's this stuff that when we visit the Efrat Erratics fan, yeah. that's this stuff. It's been washed out at the lower end. It's difficult to, to, to see how outburst floods could have done it on the basis of the magnitude of the features. They're, they're just yes. Too big. Yeah. You know, you can, some of them are trying to explain Grand Coulee as being the result of some different flood, you know. Right. Older, but you know, okay, so what's the source of that flood then? Yeah. Well, they say, well, it was a diversion of the Columbia. Really? Just the diversion of the Columbia did this. Yeah. Well, then you know they're kind of implying. Well, if it did something on this scale, you're now you're looking at a very protracted erosional event over hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of years. Right. And yet, clearly, this has all the characteristics of every other erosional coulee that has happened. That has happened very quickly. You've got hits. Yeah. And Brett's, you know, Brett's didn't quite know how to fit Grand Coulee or Moses Coulee into the channel scablands of, of Cheney Palouse or Telford. Right. But he still believed that they were cut by catastrophic floods. Right. And he wasn't sure if it was the same floods or different floods. And he, he doesn't really attempt to explain that in his papers. Yeah. Here you see the monocline. And the monocline 
goes up like this, and upper Grand Coulee comes in like this. Right. So it spilled over that 900 foot waterfall was right here. Yeah. And then it hit and spread out. Right, okay. See, but then... That 900 foot water, waterfall is off the edge of this. Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah. Like right here. Yeah. Right there. Okay. All right. And it's coming across the Waterville Plateau off the ice sheet, yeah. which is right here. Yeah, so it's not, it's not simply coming down here. Coming. Yeah, it's coming at an angle. Here, here goes the monocline like this, and it's coming at an angle like this. Right. It hits the monocline, turns into a 900-foot waterfall, hits down, spreads out, right. causes all this erosion. You can see there's multiple channels here. Yeah. But this was the weakest area because on that uplift, everything fractures in there. Right. So the water then exploited that and began to concentrate down this area. Yeah. You can see, I mean, there's there's just like a labyrinthine complex of things. I mean, all look at all is, these yes. little cataracts. Yeah. They say little, they're not little. They're big, yeah. yeah. The whole thing is just a disaster area, basically. The whole thing is just a disaster area. I mean, you couldn't even do this with hydrogen bombs. Yeah. Yeah. Massive destruction. Yeah. Massive yeah. destruction. And see, water actually sheet flooded over this area as well, and then you can see it kind of begin to concentrate down into here, mm -hmm. and starting another channel right here, this Billy Clap Lake. Right, right. And then flowed down here, and down here is Quincy Basin, yes. which we're not going to get to see. We're not going to get to see Potholes Cataract. Mm -hmm. But, okay. yeah. I mean, even two weeks of every day out here. We couldn't could, see it all. It's, no, it's quite too, impossible. Too just way too much of it. Yeah. It's quite impossible. Too it's quite impossible. Just it's too way too much of it. Way too much of it. Way too much of it. Massive destruction. Massive destruction. Massive destruction. Massive destruction. The whole thing is just a disaster area. It's a giant thing. It's a giant thing. It's a giant thing. I've never seen anything like this in my life.